loves welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is faith and today guys i'll be checking out ben shapiro reacting to work tiktok this is the volume 14 and i'm super excited as always if you are here to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what ben shapiro has for us in this video all right ben you ready for tiktok night here comes grimace hello there this is loki cat loki cat is my 16 year old cat that i had freeze dried she's not taxidermied she's actually fully intact meaning she was never skinned and um, all of her bones are actually still inside. The only part of her that was actually removed in order to get her to this place was her organs. They essentially make an incision. They pull out all of the organs. Then they have those organs cremated. Unless you want a freeze-dried heart, then they freeze-dry the heart alongside the cat. In the end, she was simply put in a dryer and dried at very low temperatures to become this. Do not What's like. Going on? Do not. Very, very bad. Do not like. Do not like at all. I think we broke his brain. When children in the neighborhood go missing, I think that um, there's some red flags. Just got the grimace shake. Happy birthday, grimace. Let's give it a try. <laughs> the grimace shake trend is one of my favorite trends. I really do like it. I think it's very funny. Glad I could coach you. Did you see the one of the guy who like explodes? There's one where there's a guy and he's, it's, it's actually pretty, it's well cut. Like he's in his car and you actually watch him physically explode into just a purple splotch in his car. There's another one where there's a guy and he's like by his car and he does it. And then Grimace, like in the full costume, comes charging at him. It's pretty fantastic. <laughs> it's truly amazing to me how fast the narrative changes. I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. White women are one of the most dangerous groups in the United States and abroad. Really? Nice, Joe. Never lie. At this point, we've pretty much all seen the video of the city bike incident between the black guy and the white woman. The black guy claimed that he bought the bike. The white woman claimed that she bought the bike. It was a tug of war match. But notice how white people were laying in wait for some little nugget of information that was going to absolve this white woman of taking accountability for the harm that she put these boys in. Whiteness is a cult, and they will. Official cult member alert. <laughs> If, if you are defending a bunch of young black men trying to steal a bike from a pregnant lady who is a nurse who is getting off duty and who had the receipt to show that she had rented the bike, you might be the cult member. Also, white women are one of the most violent groups out there. Is I'd like to see some stats on that. Come on, come on. I want you to do it. I want you to do it. Like, really? There, there, there may be some things about white women you don't particularly like, although I don't like to stereotype, you know, like the entire group, but saying they are one of the most violent groups uh, unless you consider buying Lululemon pants a form of violence, I'm failing to see exactly how this works. But on the real, if you're thinking about moving to Tennessee, here's a few things you might want to know. One, we just decided to not pass a bill that would get rid of Columbus Day and instead implement Indigenous Peoples Day like so many states around us have done. We decided to not pass that bill. Instead, we're passing a bill that makes drag illegal. Also, we don't have health care rights here as a woman. So, if you're not a white straight cis man, uh, you might not like it here. Based. You're free to leave at any time, young woman. Like, seriously, you have a car, you have got, like plane tickets available at any time. Also, those are the things that you choose about Tennessee that are, that are terrible. Those seem like pretty awesome things. Columbus Day is good. Columbus Day is a good thing. It's a day of Italian pride. It recognizes that Western civilization arriving on North American shores was actually a useful thing for the course of world history. As far as the drag bill, it says that you're not allowed to gyrate your junk in the face of children. That's what the law says in the state of Tennessee. And yeah, they, they do try to protect unborn babies in Tennessee. So if you don't like all that, I agree with her. You should stay out. I totally agree. In fact, I agree with all of it. Everything she said is right. If you agree with her, you should leave. Yeah! the new Grimace shake out on the beach today. Happy birthday, Grimace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, people are taking it all the way.
what is happening? Ah! Oh. What was that? And also brush your teeth. <laughs> Somebody is not using the crest. That's got to be some sort of adult pacifier because, like, it fits her whole face. Oh my! What is happening right now? I, I don't even. I don't even want to know. Please, can we stop? I'm getting physically nauseated by this video. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And they're all posting it from their cell phones that they that they bought with the money that they made from having jobs. It's like Bernie Sanders charging like high high ticket prices to his events. The American people are tired of women. Yeah, tax the rich on her sweatshirts that she's selling you for forty dollars a pop. My team knows I need my black rifle coffee like every single morning, and it is just a fact of the world. I have little kids; my kids are with me up at all hours. My sleep schedule last night went like this: went to bed at eleven fifteen. Last night in my son's room because the baby was waking up a lot. And then my small daughter, my three-year-old, woke up at five and brought me into her room because she uh, wanted to yell about something. So I came in this morning and I said, I want my coffee. Black Rifle Coffee is the only thing that makes this company run. Black Rifle Coffee literally fuels not just me, the entire Daily Wire. Our office drinks about 40 pounds of their coffee every week. If you haven't tried Black Rifle Coffee yet, you need to. A great place to start is their complete mission fuel sampler, giving you a taste of the entire spectrum of Black Rifle Coffee flavor profiles. Offering four-ounce bags of the following roast, the silence are smooth, AK-47 espresso, beyond black and just black, the only hard part is picking a favorite amongst these classic roasts. Black Rifle Coffee is a veteran-owned coffee company operated by principled men and women who honor those who protect, defend, and support our country. With every purchase you make, they give back. Stop running out of coffee. Sign up for a Coffee Club subscription. Have Black Rifle Coffee delivered straight to your door on a schedule. Coffee Club subscribers receive their high-quality coffee at lower prices with free shipping. Plus, they get early access to exclusive deals and prices as well. Go to BlackRifleCoffee.com. Use promo code Shapiro at checkout for 10% off your order. That's BlackRifleCoffee.com. Use promo code Shapiro for 10% off. You also find Black Rifle Coffee in grocery and convenience stores near you. Black Rifle Coffee, America's coffee. All right, we're at McDonald's trying the Grimace Shake. Let us know how it is. Kind of sucks. F*** you. Alone at the edge of you. Whoa. 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 People are taking this a little far. You guys go too far with the comedy, man. Whoa. It's kind of terrifying. Mothers and children are like a forgotten species in our modern day society. Like, you become a mom and then suddenly you're like pushed out. Go find your mommy and me group. Go figure it out on your own. Um, and we'll see you when you can be productive again. The job of being a mother it feels a lot for one person because it was never meant to be for one person. Exactly. <laughs> it was meant for a village. A village. A village was like, let's remember how to take care of our moms. Yeah. They need rest. They need proper nutrition. They need help. They need love. They need loving touch. They, you know, they to just help them through this transition from woman to mother. I mean, I don't think that's totally untrue. She's got a point. Now, come on now. I think there's a lot to that. I mean, this is why kinship groups were, were like a big thing and remain a big thing in religious communities. Right? When my wife has our babies, then I don't take a lot of time off from work, but we have both my parents around. We have both her parents around. We have friends and family who are nearby. Yeah, I mean, it actually does require more than just like mom and dad. It does require kinship groups in order to pick up the slack for sure. Yeah. All right, we got the new Grimace birthday show. Look at the mask of my boy. Uh. Hi, this is a cake. What? Don't be stupid. That's not a cake. Those are the raw ingredients to make a cake. All right, uh, let's get it over with. But that's essentially the same thing, right? Um, no, I would argue that a bowl of raw eggs is not the same as a cake. Oh, damn, I never really thought of it like that. I guess these are just the raw ingredients to make a cake. Yeah, I literally just said that. I'm very glad that you're coming to that conclusion, too. Oh my 
god, thank you so much. But yeah, let's put these together. Okay, there we go. Now it's a cake. No, that's not a cake. That's that's cake batter. You're not done making the cake. What happened to the nice you that was giving compliments earlier, okay? I put a lot of effort into making these ingredients touch. Oh, this crap. But you're not done making the cake. You still have to make the cake. We don't call it a cake until you've finished making it. Now who's being stupid? Everyone knows that the second that raw eggs touch the raw eggs Oh, are you talking about abortion? So I have a question. If I actually took your cake batter that you had spent a while making, and then I took it and I just flung it across the kitchen, would it be okay with you? Like, if I just took it and pissed all over it, would that be fine with you? Or would it have more meaning than, you know, the raw ingredients? Because if you pop it in the oven, will it become a cake? Again, the argument is not that a human being is fully developed from the moment that conception happens, it's that it is now a human life with potential, not a potential human life. What's up, guys? We're here to celebrate Grimace's birthday. Oh, no! Not again! We got some shakes. This one's for you, Grimace. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Grimace! Grimace. But, uh, yeah, we did one. You can, go, you can go to our YouTube shorts and see it. Oh God. <laughs> I invite you to rise in body or spirit. In or spirit, you can just confess our be lazy. Faith today Sit there. In the words of the Sparkle Creed. Sparkle Creed. Oh, this is gonna be good. I believe in the non-binary God, whose pronouns are plural. What the? I believe in Jesus Christ, their child, who wore a fabulous tunic and had two dads. Hey, lady! Shut up! and saw everyone as a sibling child of God. I believe in the rainbow spirit who shatters our image of one white light and refracts it into a rainbow of gorgeous diversity. I who wrote believe this? in the church of everyday saints as numerous, creative, and resilient as patches on the AIDS quilt. Oh, the AIDS quilt. Whose mm. feet are grounded in mud and whose eyes gaze at the stars in wonder. That's weird. I believe in the calling to each of us that love is love is love. This is so long. So, beloved, let us love. Lovey love, lovey love, love. glorious God, help my unbelief. Amen. Jesus, man. Um, so, yeah, maybe Satan wrote that. It's kind of like a cult, but it's not. I, I did. I, I've heard this bullshit before. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not a Christian, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys aren't big on the like Jesus had two dads routine because as it turns out that um, I'm noticing that, that God did not impregnate Joseph and also that he didn't co-adopt with Joseph. You two are such wonderful co-dads. Co-dads. And also that that's that's a that's a stretch. Well, that was terrible. So glad you could spend that time with us. Make sure that if you uh, see any other videos you'd like for me to critique that don't involve people dying of Grimace shakes. Here comes Grimace. <laughs> and perhaps leave a link in the uh, comments below. I gotta be honest. I can't get a beat on you, man. You guys, that was such an interesting one with Ben Shapiro Pan. I love the Grimace Shake episode. They were so funny. They were so, most of them were so extreme. And oh my God, this was such a beautiful one. And I'm going to check more of these videos out because they are so much fun. And I love watching them. And I love to see Ben's reactions to this video oh my gosh i really had fun reacting to ben react to these tiktokers and if you guys totally enjoyed watching give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and this is me officially signing out i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys